Okay, whatever. I don't really care about lighting right now. I'm wearing a shirt. It's just like an exercising shirt, like a tight shirt. But anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You already know who it is, Atisha S. And today I decided to, you know, I haven't posted a video in a while. So I decided to react to some of these YouTubers comments about black girls so I've seen a couple of them like I've seen the ace family I've seen Corey Ravons I've seen Clarence's I've seen Queens like I've seen like pretty much all of them I think I would say well not all of them but you know what I mean so first one I'm not gonna do the ace family of them because that is done overdue you know I still have, you know, some some comments about that, but you know, I still like them. They're they're you can't say that they're not. Like the tweets were bad. We're not that bad, but they were bad at the same time, but like you know, I guess he's older and he should have figured out, you know. This is just so confusing. Like I don't understand, but anyways, let's just start with let's see Corey Ravens. I'm gonna be putting them in to the this video too if you okay so here we go I'll admit it, I'll admit it. okay so one of these tweets said burnt black crispy a word funky musty patch headed a word chipped a word toes fat a word you know, bad thing that you should not call girls. And then another one says, dang, O-O-M-F, black as, like, oh my damn. Okay. Oh my gosh. And when girls brush their baby hairs to the front and be like, oh girl, I got good hair. Yeah, that's the only good hair you have. Oh, I'm, at, oh, and I'm not black, lol. So, what I have to say about that is, first off, she's black. I don't know if she was in denial at that time when she posted these, because these are, like, from 2011 and 2013. I don't know if she was in denial or what, but she's black. She's black. Like, you're black, and you might be mixed with something else, but you're still black. 50% black and 50% whatever you are. I don't know. Like, I don't understand, like... Like, I, I actually don't understand this, to be honest. This is... Okay. Okay. Duh. I hate when people ask me if I'm mixed. Do I look 100% black to you? It's pretty obvious I'm not. I hate when people ask me... Wait, I have to read this again. I hate when people ask me if I'm mixed. Do I look 100% black? Like... You are mixed though, like. Okay, do I look 100% black to you? It's pretty obvious I'm not. Obviously, you're not 100. Actually, you never know. So, someone could be asking you that. Because I've seen black people, even my sister. My sister's black, but she has really big, curly black hair. And I'll put it in a picture for you guys to see. Like, how her hair is. But, yeah. So, if someone's asking you if you're black, it's probably because they just don't know. Because, nowadays, there's so many, so many black girls that have nice curly hair. No. Let me do two curly Nice curly hair, or just curly hair in general. Black girls, in general, have curly hair. Like, it's no doubt about it. Like, where does, where do makes people get their curly hair from? The black side of the family. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like every black girl has curly hair. They just, you know, like, I don't really think, okay, I'm not going to say that there's not black people, black girls that have, like, you know, really, like, coarse hair, but at the same time, it's still curly. I don't care what anyone says. Black girls have curly hair. I don't care. Like, it's just annoying to me when I see, oh, only light skins have good hair or only... White girls have good hair. Okay, if anyone even says that, sorry. <laughs> trying to be rude, but if anyone even says white girls have good hair, but you know, people like I don't like I don't understand. Like, 
Okay, another one says, I'm not trying to get black at the beach tomorrow, but I don't have nothing else to do at all. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm not trying to get black at the beach. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not fully black, Carmen. Hello, but thanks. If you're a boy and you don't have good hair, don't grow that out. Not cute. Okay, if you're a boy and you don't have good hair. <sighs> okay, um, I've seen, like, there's a lot of girls who feel like their boyfriend or, you know, they need, like, their boyfriend needs to have good hair. Like, you know, either the good curly hair or the nice hair or anything like that. To be honest, like, why are you looking at the boy's hair? Any boy can fix their hair. Either they cut it or they braid it or whatever. So I don't understand what that means. But like. Okay. We're both light skinned. Not going to happen. That's scary though. Oh, well. Somebody told me. My baby was gonna My baby was gonna be dark. Why would you curse me like that? Okay, first of all You're not cursed if you have a dark baby, like no. And by the way I'm sick, so if you hear me talking about my nose because I'm sick, so I don't like what is wrong with having a dark baby? Like, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, this is just stressing me out so much, like just making me bad. Oh, it's dead. Then she addresses how she's, you know, not anti-black, which I've seen it before because if she was still anti-black, then that means that she wouldn't be hanging out with black people. She would be making fun of them still at this moment. So I can see that she has matured or whatever. She, I think she said she was 15 at that time, 6 or 7 years. 6 or 7 years is a lot of time for someone to grow. So I'm not, like, mad at her for saying those tweets or anything like that. But it's just, like, you have to be smarter than that. It doesn't matter, like, if you're big on social media or if you're a regular a regular person. But, like, there's no need for you to be um, saying black girls this, black girls that, black girls this. Like, what is wrong with black girls? Like, that's my issue right now. What is wrong with black girls? I'm black. Fully black. Like, what is wrong with black girls? I don't understand. Like, okay, one second. Let me just go to Clarence's. Okay, as I was saying, I don't understand what is wrong with black girls. Like, I don't understand. Like, I've seen so many guys say that, oh, I don't like light-skinned girls. I don't like white girls because they have good hair. They'll, they'll give my baby good hair. First of all, if you don't have good hair yourself, how do you good hair yourself? How do you expect your baby to have good hair? Like, every, I make this so mad. Like, everybody's, everybody has good hair. Like, it doesn't matter. It's so annoying when I see black guys or black girls um, discriminate against their own race. Like, you're black. I don't understand why you don't like black people. If you don't like black people, then that basically means you don't like yourself. Like, it's so annoying. Like, oh my gosh. It makes me so mad. Like, especially nowadays. Like, I see that light-skinned girls or light-skinned boys are being more, you know. Okay, actually dark-skinned boys are okay. Light-skinned girls are being more like, oh, you know. People are liking them more than black girls because they have that big curly hair. Lesbian girls are beautiful. Black girls are beautiful. White girls are beautiful. Brown girls are beautiful. Everybody is beautiful in their own way. You shouldn't discriminate against if you like if you like black girls or this. Like, don't exclude races out of your preference. Like, it's so annoying to me when I see that. It's just like, why? Like, why do you feel like? You, your standards are so high that you deserve one particular race that you only want. Like, lower your standards. Like, no. Like, lower your standards. <laughs> lower your standards. Because everybody, like, I don't get it. Like, everyone's beautiful. Like, you don't need to discriminate against this and that and this and that. Like, it's so annoying to me. But I cannot breathe. <laughs> like... Even me, I don't discriminate against, okay, I'm not going to say I don't discriminate, it's just people that I, I'm going to be honest, like, I don't discriminate, but it's like, who I'm more attracted to, you know, if you're white, if I'm attracted to you, black, if I'm attracted to you, light skin mix, if I'm attracted to you, it just all depends if I'm attracted to you, like, I don't understand, you cannot even lie and say that you're not attracted to 
a black girl or a light skin girl because there's beautiful black girls out here beautiful light skin girls out here beautiful white girls out here you cannot say that you are not attracted to one of them just because that one might be bald or that one might have curly hair like it's so annoying like just you guys need to learn that okay i'm starting to get really <laughs> like okay you guys need to learn that you know god made a bunch of races for a reason for everyone to love everyone not for you to go around like you will never find that one well, my friends i think she said this she's like you will never find um a proper girl or a proper wife unless you be open and you go ahead and try and date different races and not just like you know closing yourself to one race only like i think that's what she says something like that but <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to react to Clarence and Queen's racist comments. Here are a few tweets from Clarence's old Twitter. Okay. Please to all the black girls that think it's okay to dye their hair blonde. Yeah, look like black and mild. I don't know what black and I'm going to search up what black and mild is. So, what he said there is like, you know, black girls who dye their hair blonde, da 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 there is a lot of black girls that dye their hair blonde and they look so beautiful like sometimes i'm like why can't i wear a blonde wig you know <laughs> but never i would not never myself because i can't see myself like that i don't think it would look at me but anyways black girls with blonde hair i've seen my mom even dyes her hair blonde and she looks great in it and you know i see other girls on social media dye their hair blonde and they look beautiful great you know so for you to just say black girls that dye their hair blonde that are no 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 like let me see what black and mild is we're gonna go to the next tweet bro the black joints ain't touching that water lol you're gonna have a bunch of ben wallace's in there lol so why can't black girls touch water like i don't understand that but anyways I seen this clip like yeah, but it seemed like always little nappy headed girls would bully me. Like they'd be jealous or something like what? I, what yes they was when I was little. I didn't do nothing to no it seemed like always ugly people bully me. I'm sorry. So seriously ugly people? Yeah. Kristen, I actually like that. Chris was like, so then I don't remember what he said, but Oh wait, okay, one second. So, she was basically saying how black, nappy-headed girls always bullied her. First of all, I'm not going to stress this enough, black girls have curly hair. Where do you think you get your curly hair from if a child is mixed? Where do you think you get your curly hair? You think you get it from your dad that's white or your mom that's white? No. You get it for your, from your dad that's black or your mom that's black, you know? So, that's that. Um, for her to say that only black girls bullied her, I'm pretty sure not only black girls bullied her. I think she was just saying that just to, you know, make people laugh or something like that. Like, no. I'm pretty sure black girls didn't only bully her. Like, no. I don't think so. And those little bubble things, I had those little bubble things in my hair. You had those little bubble things in your hair. So I don't know why you're saying they had they had nasty hairstyles for because I'm pretty sure they had the, those little parts that their mom did, like the same to me, tied their hair in a bubble, braided it, and then, you know, did the bubble, braided their hair just like that. So I'm pretty sure they had that type of hairstyle, and I'm pretty sure you did too. So I don't understand. Like, this is just making me... Like, it's just making me so mad right now, like, Yeah. Me, I mean, maybe you can't do that though. 
Yeah, well, you can still get the you, weight. No, no, you can't. Down here, you can get You can't. You can have a patty and still be fly. Wow, this girl said you can have a patty and still be fly. Let me show you what Patty's hair looks like in this picture. I don't know if you guys can see it. But if you guys can see, that's what Patty's hair looks like in the picture. So, apparently he has bad hair. But let me show you guys what good hair looks like. Let me show you guys what good hair looks like. Okay, I'm not trying to say that this boy is racist. But, you know, he's dark skinned and, you know, I he has, you know the good hair that social social media or the world thinks is good hair so let me just go to his page because he's like black too so okay d underscore okay. you guys know d rock from the medicine video but this is good hair i guess like okay let me put it i want to find a picture with his hair okay so this is him. He was in the video that I was watching just now. But I guess this is good hair. I guess this is good hair. Um, But I guess Patty doesn't have good hair because his hair may be a little bit, you know, more coarse or a little bit more harder to comb out. Curly hair is hard to comb out and this hair is hard to comb out too. I don't understand it. Like, let's just... Like, for real. Uh, like, we can exactly there's nothing wrong with afro hair like there's nothing wrong with it i just seen someone say afro hair is better you know um explanation there's nothing wrong with afro hair or guys that have you know a little bit more coarse hair they can it's not like they need to fix it either because that's the hair that they were born with but like it's so annoying to me like you know they say that they're little like not shiny bumps because shiny bumps have those things like those there's like little tiny rolls in the guy's hair like I don't understand what's so bad about that like it's just sad that everyone thinks that black girls are not beautiful or this type of hair is good hair and this type of hair is bad hair like I'm not gonna I'm not saying that I don't like these people for saying stuff like that but it's like just be smarter about what you say you know if that's your opinion keep it to yourself the whole world doesn't need to see that and you know Maybe you need maybe you need something, you know, fixed in your head to really show you what good hair is and this type of hair is and who you should like and what race is beautiful and what race isn't beautiful. Like there's so much stuff that's going on in the world that you you just need to be open to everything. And like I just that's what I have to say about it, but yeah, to all those people, I don't hate them. I don't not like them. I don't be like, oh, nah, nah, nah. I don't like them no more because they said this. Because no, you know, they just need to be smarter about what they say. And if that, again, if that's your opinion, keep it to yourself. We don't need to know that, like, like, whatever. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below and comment some other videos you guys like me to react to or you know some other stuff that you guys would like me to react to or whatever you know what I'm saying <laughs> and yeah subscribe to my channel again please subscribe to turn on post notifications and yeah I'm wearing a shirt it's just like you know a, a little shirt that I used to exercise with but yeah bye guys <laughs>